Hello everyone and welcome to More Fun with Fitzy. We are still on 8.1, but we're going to be doing part 2. We are going to be looking at how to make a balance sheet and income statement from your worksheet. You have everything you need now once you complete a worksheet to make your financial statements. You do not need to look at your ledger at all. So let's start with the balance sheet. Here is the balance sheet for this company. And you will see the balance sheet on the right hand side here for the same company prior to making this balance sheet. So how to do it? Well, as you know, you're going to make all of your headings here, put your heading assets. And you're going to take all of your assets from your worksheet and put them in the column. Now we've talked about this already in class. Personally, I would move them over here and put the total there, but this is okay. This format is what the textbook is using. Next, you're going to, let's look at our liabilities. This is a little bit tricky because it's new because we have our HST recoverable account here, which is a contra liability, remember? Well, first we're going to list our accounts payable, which is our first number. Then we're going to list our HST payable and our HST recoverable. Next, we're going to list our payable and our recoverable. And we're going to subtract them because basically we want to know, do we have a refund or a remittance? In this case, this is a remittance because our payable is larger than our recoverable. So subtract them and put the answer above. We, talk, we talked about this in class already. You could put the answer one below, but then you would need to have a heading over here. And we'd have to call that uh, a remittance. However, it's not good accounting form to do that. Next, we have our mortgage payable. We put it in this column because now we just basically have all our liabilities that we need to add up. And our bank loan, we're going to draw a straight line here. Put the answer to the right. So this is our total liabilities, which shows us the heading over here. Next, we're going to do our capital. This section, I believe you guys are good at. The beginning capital goes in the middle. Your net income, less drawings. We've done this before. Draw a line. And if it's a positive number when you subtract them, then it's an increase in capital. Draw your line across, and you're going to add your increase in capital, in this case, to your beginning capital. Put the answer over here. So that is our ending capital for this company. Then add our liability to our owner's equity to get our total liabilities and owner's equity here, which equals our total assets. So our balance sheet balances. And you'll notice it's a different number than on your worksheet, so don't be concerned with that. Your worksheet just has our net income, which is required on the worksheet to make our balance sheet balance. But this isn't necessarily the number you're going to be looking for here. Okay, let's look at the income statement next. Here's our revenue on our income statement. And as you know, it's going to go here because we have one. If we had two revenues, we'd list them both in this column, total them, and put the answer onto this to the right-hand side. Our expenses are all here. Draw a single ruled line, put the answer at the top to the right, and subtract our expenses from our revenue to get our net income right here. Review the format, okay? Dollar signs, underlines, this is a double ruled line, and so on and so forth. So by now, you should already know how to do this, make balance sheet income statement, but it was worth the review now that we've done a worksheet. 